Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how to create your own decks. First you're gonna look for a GitHub repository. I'm gonna use the repository of Mozart Finance. Download it and it will let you a zip file and once you extract the zip file it will let you the folder. With this folder what you gotta do is install the dependencies you install it with yarn installed and it will install the dependencies okay once done so you gotta run it and you can see that the exchange is already here okay that's something important but the important thing is about the contracts because PancakeSwap uses two contracts which are the Pancake Factory and the Pancake Router. Okay if we see in Visual Studio Code in Mozart Finance we have a different router because it's using its own router or from Ghost Finance, but it's using a different one. With this router address, we're gonna have a different liquidity. But with the PancakeSwap router, for example, if we write the Pancake router here, we're gonna be using the PancakeSwap liquidity. So the the people will be able to swap the tokens in our website and of course they will be using the pancake swap liquidity okay so that's for the router and the factories another important thing the factory is here and the factory what this contract does is just when you create liquidity, when somebody adds liquidity, the factory contract will create a new liquidity pool pair. For example, if I add BNB with BSD, the factory address will create the BNB BSD LP, and it will it will give me the contract in my wallet. As I prove that I have added liquidity okay so let's let's gonna change we're gonna change it the router there we go save changes here also Perfect. We can also change the factory. And it's init code hash. Wait a second. The init code hash, you have it in. If you see in BSCC scan, you search the address and you have in read contract the init code per hash, it will be showing to this. Okay, we save. Now we can. Oops, sorry. Now we can swap using the pancake swap liquidity. Okay. Technically, now we're, we're using PancakeSwap Exchange, but with different logo and different website. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. Okay, sorry, it was my internet, I guess it's lagging, but you will see that it's gonna work perfectly.
OK. You may be wondering that maybe you want to create your own. You want to create your own router or factory. That's not a bad idea, but if you want to do that, you will need a lot of money and a lot of knowledge um, for creating your own DAP because you will have to incentivize the people to add liquidity. Creating those contracts is easy. I mean, you just have to copy paste the code. You have the code here. Choose copy paste, remix, deploy it, and that's all. But you won't start with enough liquidity in your in your exchange. So that's why I, I just I'm gonna show you how to do it but with the pancake swap liquidity. As you see now it worked. I have the BUSD. Mm. Anyways, you can see it here. Uh, I could swap it and that's all. I'm gonna make a new video about how to create this contract and factory and the router. But this one is too simple. I'm not gonna show high technical things. Okay. So that was all. Thank you all for watching the video. We will be keeping you updated. And I'm gonna continue uploading new videos about crypto programming, etc. So goodbye guys. You can see it now.